Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, subscribe if you wish and hit the like button if you wish. And if not, you're welcome here anytime. But thank you uh, for stopping in. Uh, this is uh, from Bill Moyer. Uh, before Tuesday's midterm elections, HBO host Bill Mayer, or Myher, it's M-A-H-E-R, I do think he was also, wasn't he an actor at one time, or still is, or something? I think he is, I don't know. Uh, suggested that, mm, pardon me, making Election Day as a national holiday and ending early voting might help restore confidence in our elections. Uh, Meyer, appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live, compared the voting process in Brazil to that in the United States. In Brazil, Meyer explained, the vote counting was so efficient, the election results were known in three hours. Boy, that would be something. He joked that it was a little depressing that the United States is getting its butt kicked by Brazil, asking why. We can figure out things that other people seem to figure out. Meyer has a point. The election results in Nevada and Arizona are still not known. Both states hope to have the results after the weekend. But you don't need to look to Brazil to see how crazy that is. How is it that Nevada and Arizona need a week to count votes when Florida, the third largest state in the country, was able to determine the winners on Tuesday night? Those two states combined have fewer people than Florida. It is travesty that they're still counting votes. Kimmel noted that Americans are just impatient, adding that Americans are also crazy, which is why they presume something in nefarious if the election results aren't known on election day. Well, that would be hard to do. Again, perhaps Jimmy Kimmel should take a gander at how quickly the country's third, third largest state was able to determine the winners. Maher, Maher, M-A-H-E-R, Maher, suggested make an election day a national holiday. The way other countries do could be a way to solve the problem. How's that going to solve the problem? The voting booths would be so packed because nobody would be at work. I can't see where that would solve the problem. But anyway, it isn't a national holiday in Florida, and yet, Meyer uh, also said that allowing voting to go on for weeks and months ahead of time just sowed, sows, S O W S, just sows doubt into the people, especially when the country is so divided. That should be sows. S-O-W-S, just sows doubt into the people. But it's spelled sows, <laughs> I guess. How do you spell a pig, a sow pig? Whatever. Meyer added that he believes the country is experiencing something like a cold civil war, and making election day a holiday and getting rid of early voting would be a sensible solution. What might also help is having competent people in charge of states' elections. There is simply no reason Nevada and Arizona need a week to count ballots and determine the winner. None whatsoever. I'm sure that they do the best they can with as many people that stand in line to vote. You know, those machines, they've got to be correct and working exceptionally well so there is no mistakes oh my goodness you know sometimes when it gets overloaded you just sit back hey we need a break you know <laughs> but um, I can understand where he's coming from but I'm kind of disagreeing on a couple things there all righty well whatever uh, in the 7th Congressional District of Virginia, Spamberger, a former CIA agent with experience in law enforcement and a purported track record of bipartisanship, 
prevailed in a closely watched contest. Reports show that the Washington, D.C. Exurbs, E-X-U-R-B-S, Exurbs, which have gradually tended to turn bluer over recent election cycles, were redesigned in redesigned to incorporate larger areas. As a CIA agent working for President Bush and Obama, Spanberger's responsibility was to persuade foreigners to provide her with intelligence. Four years after receiving a job offer in two, 2002, she was admitted to the CIA. She worked as a waitress in an Arlington County restaurant during that time, filled in as a teacher at a private school, and was a federal postal inspector for two and a half years in Washington. According to a report, as part of a broader wave of Democratic Party representatives with experiences in intelligence, Spanberger was first elected to Congress in 2018. Almost 30 of these candidates prevailed in their primaries to become the Democratic candidates in 2018. Eleven of them won the general election. Several former intelligence and military operatives from the CIA, Pentagon, National Security Council, State Department ran for nominations as Democrats for Congress in the 2018 midterm elections. According to a pamphlet published at the time, by Patrick Martin of the World Socialist website. There is no precedence in political history for the perspective inflow of military intelligence officers into the legislature. Media reports show Abigail Spanberger blasted then President Trump for meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong However, when President Biden met with Saudi, Prin Saudi Prince bin Salman and numerous other dictatorial foreign leaders who were allies of the United States, Spamberger was silent. Dictatorial foreign leaders who were allies of the United States, Spamberger was silent. Spamberger, a House Foreign Affairs Committee member, voted to send billions of dollars in military aid to Ukraine, whose government had outlawed 11 opposition parties and authorized terrorist attacks on political rivals and journalists. Once an agent, always an agent. My, oh my, oh my. Hmm. I don't know. Well, well, well. Let's go to the next one, people. I'm whizzing right through these. I'll have a clean desktop pretty soon. <laughs> I'll have to go back and get some more. So what have we got? Well, Poor Joe Biden is panicking after a leading Republican exposed this major scandal. Um, I read somewhere else <clears throat> something that was a little bit disturbing on Joe Biden. And I'll get to that later. Joe Biden is running one of the most scandalous plagued ad administrations in history. He was hoping one outrage never saw the light of day. Now Joe Biden is panicking after leading Republican exposed this major scandal. TikTok is one of the fastest growing social media platforms after it became the most downloaded app in the world earlier this year. It's becoming a sensation with younger users putting established social media sites like Facebook, Instagram on their heels. But there's a sinister side to TikTok because of the company's Chinese ownership. TikTok is a national security threat as it is harvesting vast amounts of users' data that is sent back to its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, 
Now, I just did another video uh, a couple nights ago on this, uh, pertaining to this subject anyway. By law, Chinese tech companies have a close working relationship with the communist Chinese government and are suspected of operating as fronts of surveillance operations. But we've heard so much about him and his son. Anyway, being involved in all these, whatever they were doing, situations. So, we're kind of familiar and really not surprised if anything else should pop up. You know, while ByteDance claims that all TikTok user data is stored in the U.S., a report from BuzzFeed News revealed that American user data has been accessed from China. Now, Senator Tom Cotton, Representative of Era, Arizona, AR, isn't that Arizona? Is surrounding the alarm on TikTok's practice. I need to practice on those, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Practice on hiring foreign workers using the H 1B visa program. The Department of Homeland Security approved 570H 1B visas for foreigners to work at ByteDance and TikTok's offices in California. In a letter to Homeland Security, L.A. Warandro, L.A. General, Alejandro, Mayor Akis, Senator Cotton asked for information about the visa holders working at TikTok and ByteDance. TikTok captures vast amounts of private information on users, including American citizens, and has long been suspected of providing the CCP, Communist Chinese Party, CCP, with potential access to that information. Cotton wrote, given the security concerns with TikTok and the company's repeated statements about U.S.-based terms and data centers, having hundreds of foreign nationals working in those offices present another potential threat. TikTok is under fire because our app allows the communist Chinese government to spy on its hundreds of millions of users worldwide, and this will only add to those concerns. Oh, I should think so. But like I said, you know, we're, we're not alone. We're not alone. Foreigner workers with ties to the communist Chinese government could be working at TikTok's American office, opening up another avenue for the communist regime to collect information on Americans. A report from Forbes also revealed that China-based bike dance employees have used TikTok for surveillance on American citizens. These threatens the safety and security of American citizens and also functions as an avenue for the Chinese government to track the locations of developed blackmail on federal employees and contractors, Cotton added in the letter. Senator Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, and Representative Mike Gallagher, uh, Republican of Wisconsin are also calling for TikTok to be banned. Arguing the app gives the communist Chinese government the ability to spy on American citizens. <clears throat> if they get banned, they're going to pick something else and pop up again. Y you can't stop them. You just can't. They've got technology probably way beyond our means. Japanese and all the rest of them you know you can't stop them if, if you shut one down they're going to pop up somewhere else another major scandal will give lawmakers pushing a TikTok ban more modem in their bid to shut down this national security threat well it'll shut down for a while but in my estimation and my thinking you don't stop people like this they'll find another avenue to get in why do they care what we're doing in our country? It's none of their damn business. But do we have spies in their country, though, spying on them to keep ahead of what they're doing so we're not left out? How do we know this? We don't. All negativity, but yet 
it could be very, very important. It says stay tuned to the conservative underground news for any updates to this ongoing story. We just don't know, do we? No. I'll be back. I hope you gave somebody a blessing today. Don't let me forget to say that. Because that is so important anyway. <laughs>